What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a go at creating the cover for the 2001 video game Max Payne by Remedy Entertainment. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Open up your brick wall image. Open up your businessman image. Select your move tool. Left click and drag the businessman image up to your brick wall image. Don't let go of your left mouse button until your mouse cursor is over the brick wall image. Let go of the left mouse button. With your businessman layer selected, press Ctrl and T on your keyboard. Use Command instead of Ctrl or Option instead of Alt if you're a Mac user. Drag your mouse cursor to one of the corners of the free transform. Hold shift on your keyboard, left click on the corner box, drag your mouse cursor inwards, reducing the businessman layer to 75%. Let go of the left mouse button, let go of shift, press enter. Use your move tool to drag the businessman image so that the top of the layer is touching the top of the canvas. Go to select your magnetic lasso tool. Inside your businessman layer still, left click on the bottom left corner next to his right arm. Hold your left mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor around the outside of the male model to make a selection. When you get to the bottom right corner of the male model, drag your mouse cursor down away from the layer slightly let go of your left mouse button and press enter. Press Ctrl, Shift and I. Press delete to erase the beige color around the male model. Press Ctrl and D. Go to select your magic wand tool and left click in the background segment between the man's head and the hand. Press delete. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to Image, Adjustments and Threshold. Set the threshold level to 128. Click OK. Use the Move tool to centralize your image if necessary. Ensure that the bottom of your male model is roughly the size of three bricks away from the bottom of your canvas. Double click in the layer name, rename the layer Man, press Enter. Go to select a new layer. Rename the layer Light. Go to select your rectangular marquee tool. Inside the new light layer, left click, drag your mouse cursor over the male model to create a selection around him. Ensure that the bottom of your selection, ensure that your bottom selection line is parallel with the bottom of the man layer. Ensure that the bottom selection line Ensure that the bottom of the man meets the bottom selection line. Let go of your left mouse button. Go to your gradient tool. Double click on your gradient thumbnail. Select any of the gradient presets and go down to the gradient color box below. Double click on the first color stop and ensure the color code 434343 is set. Click OK. Your second color stop should be at location 10%. If you don't have a color stop here, simply left click underneath the gradient color where your mouse cursor changes into a hand and one of these stops should appear. Set the color to white. Your third color stop, which is also white, should be at location 80%. And your fourth and final color stop should be at location 100%. The color should be the same as the initial one. 434343 three, four, three, for a dark shade of gray. Click OK. Click OK again. Inside your light layer, drag your mouse cursor up directly from the man's left elbow. 
left click at the top of your selection line, hold your left mouse button down, drag your mouse cursor down to the bottom and move your mouse cursor to the left until you have got to the man's coat. Let go of your left mouse button. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Darkness. Press Control, Shift and I. Press Shift and Backspace. From the Contents option, choose Black. Click OK. Press Control and D to deselect. In your Darkness layer still, go to your Blending option where it says Normal and change this to Darken. Reduce the opacity to 70%. Select your Light layer. Click in the Blending option Normal and change this to Overlay. Drag your Man layer above the Darkness and Light layers. Left click on your background layer, go to create a new layer, rename this new layer above background grey, press shift and backspace, in the contents use box choose colour, enter the code 101519, click OK, click OK again, change your blending option to colour. Reduce the opacity of the layer to 85%. Go to your Darkness layer. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 2 pixels. Click OK. Go back to your Man layer again. Change the Blending option to Multiply. Select your Background layer. Select your Brush tool. Brush size is 300 pixels, soft round, opacity 30%, flow 100%. On your background layer, left click in the middle of the man's face. Go to create a new layer. Drag this new layer above the man. Rename this layer Police Tape. Go to select your rectangular marquee tool. Left click on one side of your canvas, hold your left mouse button down, drag to the other side, drag the mouse cursor down and let go of your left mouse button so that you've created a rectangle with a height roughly the same as that of one brick. Press shift and backspace. Choose colour from the use box. Enter the code 847125. Click OK. Click OK again. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to your text tool. The font I will be using is TWSEN MT Condensed Extra Bold Regular. The size should be set to 40 and strong. Font colour should be set to black. Left click on the middle section of your police tape. Type in Do Not Cross. Press your tab key five times. Now type in a man with nothing to lose. Select your move tool, drag your text to the left, ensure that the writing is inside the middle of your police tape. Right click on your text layer and select duplicate layer. Click OK. With the move tool still selected, inside your new duplicated text layer, left click on the writing and drag this to the side. Ensure that the space between a man with nothing to lose and do not cross is roughly the same as the previous space separating the first two pieces of text. Select your police tape layer once more, press Ctrl and T. Left click on the side of your selected police tape box and drag away from the canvas roughly the same distance as that between the canvas edge and your light layer. Repeat the same on the other side. Press enter. 
Right click on your first text layer and choose rasterize type. Repeat the same for your second text layer. Hold control and select both text layers and the police tape layer. Right click and select merge layers. Select your move tool, drag the tape down so that it's just below the necklace. Press control and T, right click on your selection and select warp. I'm going to move some of the boxes and the circles around the new selection to create a rounded effect in front of the male model. Try not to drag the cursors to the side. Keep them parallel with each other. Press enter when you're done. Select your text tool. Left click anywhere underneath the police tape. Using the same font as before, TW Sen MT Condensed Extra Bold, regular. This time, change the size to 220. Strong. Double click on the color and set the color to the following FF0000. Click OK. Type in the name you want to have appear on your poster. Open up your fire layer. Use the move tool to drag this into your project window. Let go of your left mouse button once you're on top of your canvas. Ensure that your title layer is just below the fire layer. Select your fire layer, right click and choose create clipping mask. Go to the blending option for the fire layer and choose difference. Change the opacity to roughly 20%. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Please check out the channel for more computing tutorials. Join me soon for another video. Take care.